Hi, my name is Gareth Schwander and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the great pleasure of uh, meeting with Sarah Kiefer. She's Chief Marketing Officer with Pitch.com. Welcome, Sarah. Where are you today? Pleasure to be here, Gareth. Thanks so much for having me. I am based in Hanover in Germany. Um, Pitch is a fully remote company, so we're based all over the world. Pitch is something that it's almost like the Four Dummies book. It's uh, effective presentations for dummies. Uh, you, you can create a pitch deck or a proposal within minutes without headaches. And I, I wanted to show the audience, how does it work? Can you show us quickly how you can pick and then add video to a slide? Pitch is completely free to use. So anybody who's, who likes to look at this, who wants to give it a try, go to pitch.com, sign up. You can start using it immediately. The primary way that people create presentations in Pitch is that they start from a template. Two types of template you can use. Within your workspace, you can set up a library of templates for you and your colleagues to use. So your colleagues in marketing or design can define what are the types of templates that they want you to use when you're putting together materials for customers or prospects. Secondly, if you're using Pitch for the first time, a good place to start if is with Pitch's own template gallery. We have over a hundred uh, designer created templates that you can use, again, totally for free. If you're in sales, you probably want to start with the sales collection, scroll through, find something that looks like it'll fit for your use case, and then you can adapt it for yourself, easily change colors, brand, fonts, everything to adapt it for your needs. But let's say we're going to start a sales proposal. Just add all the slides in this template, and we're going to call it Gerhard's presentation. Once I've got all of these slides in here, I can start adapting it for my prospects. So I can go through, change our logos. Oh, I don't actually really need this slide. So I'm going to delete that. This one, I want to add a recording because you mentioned that was a feature that's particularly fun. So now you can add a recording of yourself presenting. You can make that look however you want. Let's do a, a square. We can also make it bigger. And then I can record myself easily presenting this slide. Start recording. Three, two, one. So these are the biggest problems you're probably facing in your business right now. Stop. I can review the recording. I can save it. I can create another take, give it a couple of goes, see which one I like the look of. And then if I go back to the presentation, you'll see there's me presenting. So you can create this asynchronous narrative for your presentation. Then um, you can also embed a, um, a video from YouTube. That's right. Yeah. Or so we can add a video here, YouTube, Vimeo, or Loom. You can easily embed a video from there. So once you've created that presentation, the next thing you want to do is share it with your prospects, <laughs> undoubtedly. Lots of different ways to do that. You can invite them directly to the presentation or even your workspace if you're collaborating with them. You can set it so that the presentation can be viewed by anyone as long as they click on the link. And then you can copy and paste that link um, any way you like. Or you can create a custom link. So let's call this Gerhard. And then you see it'll actually generate a link that includes your prospect or customer's name. So that really personal touch, they know that you've made it just for them. And then you can keep this box, che box checked, enable engagement analytics which means you're going to be able to keep track of whether the person that you've sent it to has actually accessed the deck um, and how they've interacted with it. This is what your custom link activity would look like. You can have loads of custom links. So if you've got a deck that you end up sending to people all the time, maybe it's a general introduction to a product or feature that you use all the time, you can set up lots of different custom links and then see how those have been interacted with. So you can see how much time has been spent on each slide. You get a sense of which of the slides that are really engaging for your audience, which aren't, how long people are spending on each slide, how many how many seconds or how many views each slide's getting. And you can get a sense of where and how people are accessing your presentation, how long they're spending. I think it's a great tool. So I suggest anybody who's uh, looking at this or is interested, go to pitch.com, get a demo, download it, play with it, and... Uh, you uh, are going to feel differently about communicating with customers in a more impactful, in a more engaging way. And reach out to me on LinkedIn. Would love to hear anybody's feedback, how they're finding the tool, how else we could keep improving pitch to make it an even more effective tool in a salesperson's arsenal. And I want everybody in the audience to remember that the pitch can make you rich.